hello friend this is Sarav and welcome to the channel today we're going to look at the protector of angular how to do end-to-end -end unit testing let's do this so let's see in the browser what we have basically the student list so this is basically ng repeat student 1 and student 2 and student 3 this way this repeat will be loaded in the page and more what we have is the add button click on that it will open a model window and here just give student name role number and just give some biography and hit the save button it gets added in that into the list so that is the simple flow of this application so let's start with the code and directly move to the end-to-end -end testing folder here i will see you have by default you will have two uh, two files this app end-to-end spec.ts and then app page object.ts i created the same two files for the student list student list page object and then end-to-end -end spec what i did basically i just copied this content of from this PO file to our PO file and same spec file to our student list spec file as you can see it has nothing to do just more than just navigating to just checking the navigating uh, or not and this is a spec file for the default one I just commented this out because we don't have anything based on this one uh, as of now and now this is our student list page object and the spec file the page object file we have the navigation to function just to check the navigation is working and we have the is list present or not function it will just check whether the list student list is present or not so hard to do that that one what we'll have to do we'll just check this selector app student list we'll check that selector is present and inside that selector we will check the ul is present or not so this will be our simple step to check so this is just for demonstration purpose so i'll i'll be doing this simple step let's go to the code and to check that one we'll be using by css and this is the tag name of the selector and then ul and the function is is present or not so is present it will give true if it's present otherwise it will give false that's why i'm returning it as a promise and as a boolean value it will be it will be returning and this is obviously an async function so to to access this list present or not just go to this spec file and just write your test case and inside that you'll have to use this await because it's going to give you async data and it's present then it should be truthy basically and then the message student list should load it that's it now if to run this one we will what we have to do we just run ng e to e and this will download the chrome driver and compile the content and then it will run the test cases based on what we have written in our spec file as you can see chrome has been open one new instance has of chrome has been opened by the automation testing and it got closed and here is our test it got passed one of one spec success so that's the very first test it, it successfully ran and it's a success not a failure right want to just if you want to test it's whether it's working or not just use this one to be falsy but it should it should be truthy right so let's test this one too as you can see it failed right so our test case is working properly so now next step would be to test the add functionality if we click on add we should check that this model opened up this model has been developed using ngx bootstrap so we can 
test this one. Now what I did basically I write three functions. So in the page object file, just returning the the uh, the add button stands here and same way the model content actually the add student is the class of that model. Let me show you here. Okay. So here you can see add student the class. So I'll be checking this one whether this is present or not. So to do this one, I just check that 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 element is present and this as you know this will be async function and the close button instance so will be checking that on close this close the model here let's do this so we have the element in our page object file and here we have the and here we have the the spec our spec file so let's check So as you can see the chrome instance opened and now the model will also open this time and it will close also now we got a failure just need to debug now expected false to be truthy never mind i had this spelling mistake this time it will also open the model and also close the model and it's a success so we are going good now in the last step or one more step let's do the validation part now if you see if i click save this message would be shown for this tune in name and the role section so we will have to check these are required and if we hit the save button without entering any data in these two fields this message should be displayed to do that what I have what I have here in the page object file is basically the save button instance and the name error I'm checking CSS containing text so invalid feedback will be the class and that class should contain name is required same for the invalid same for the role if I show you you can see it will have the invalid feedback class this one and obviously this is the message so let's start with this one and in the spec file what we have the test case we'll click on the add button then we have to click on the save button and both will be in async because after this click we can only expect these two uh, scenarios to be happened so the name error is present should be truthy and rule error will also be truthy and then we'll just close the model let's check this out here in this section you will see the model and the validation messages also for a fraction of the time yeah and it's a success so we are going good this is also done now to verify this see this will be very useful while you are doing something and say you mistakenly remove the validation from any of the fields say name is not required you made this change now in this case you no need to run any manual regression testing this just this automation testing will take care of any silly mistake or anything working not expected Here, as you can see, it failed. Expected false to be truthy. Name required error message shown, but it's not shown because we have removed the validation message from this, from the, our our form builder. If you click here, you won't see that message at all, right? So this is the way end-to-end -end testing can be very helpful for us. So that's all for this one, this video. And if you think, if you want me to create any any 